the Grand Court Die Die Toys, the final race of day one. It's a three mile one field on grade one hurdle. The top one is Bell Kennan, Relics Cherry, Eaton Mess, Ryan Tamaselli, five star. David Hooley, Hazel Rig, Hawker, Darren Thompson, Jumping Jack, Flash, Paul Rhodes, La Paz, Midnight, Vinny Gerard, Redwood Edition, David Robertson, Splish Splash. Joshua Sutherland, Time Capsule, Leon Van Rensburg, Initial Legacy, and Raphael Marlette for Craig Allen, Scorched Earth, Leon Van Rensburg, Sharp Right, David Ladd, not David Ladd, David Robertson, <laughs> Stay Alert, David Hooley, and a World on Fire for Joshua Sutherland. I thought I was going to sneeze then, but I'm not going to. And away they go, and Jumping Jack Flash is the first one to show as they get to the first. And they're all safely over that one. And no oh, way to go for these hurdlers then. Three miles and a furlong. Called the first furlong of it already. And Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead from the Grey Hazel Rig Hawker second. And Splish Splash. After that one, as they pass the winning post with two complete circuits to go, we take a look from the roof of the stand. A football pitch in the middle of the in the middle of the race course. I've never noticed that before. Anyway, Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead with. Hazel Rig Hawker second, and then Splish Splash is third as they get over the second. With Redwood Edition just the early back marker, but a long way to go yet. And Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead. On Hazel Rig Hawker in second, Splish Splash third, and then Bell Kenham fourth. And comes La Paz Midnight as they get two to third. Successfully negotiate and pace is quite a good one for a three mile hurdle, and they're quite well strung out. And jumping Jack Flash is in the lead. One splish splash second, and Hazel Rig Hawker third, then Bell Kennan and La Paz Midnight. Then comes Stay Alert and Sharp Right, eating mess after that one on the inside as they take number four and all over the fourth with time capsule the current back marker. The fifth then. And again all over it safely. With jumping Jack Flash three or four clear. With Hazel Rick Hawker Splish Bash, La Paz Midnight and Bell Kennan. And a line of four after that one as they take number six. A really good jump on the outside by Scorched Earth. I've seen that one move up into fifth. With Sharp Right, Belkin and Eaton Miss just behind them. That time a really bad jump by Scorched Earth. And over that second part of that little double there in the Yard Legacy is the current back marker. World on fire is also towards the back. That's still the best part of two miles to go. And Jumping Jack Flash is clear in front. Of Hazel Rick Hawker second and Splish Splash third and Lapis not La Paz Midnight fourth. And Bell Kenham fifth, that order hasn't changed much at all. Then come the two David Robertson horses, Sharp Right and Redwood Edition. Redwood Edition's made a good forward move from the back already as they take number nine. And all safely over that one. Also, World on Fire starting to get a little bit closer. The David Hoodie pair, Stay Alert and Five Star are both dropped out towards the back as they take number ten. And over that one they go. With Jumping Jack Flash still showing the way for Paul Rhodes. They can't pass the stand then. One more circuit to go on day one of the final week of the second season of SO7. And Jumping Jack flashes the leader past the running post from Hazel Rig Walker second. La Paz Midnight's now moving into third. Splish Splash is fourth. And a couple of lengths back to the rest of them are just about headed by Sharp Right. Redwood Edition is pretty close up. Bell Kenner has just dropped back a bit. Scorched Earth as we call from that mistake. Raphael and Milet getting a first mention as well. That's been tucked away quietly in mid-division for most of the race. And they're over the 11th. And Jumping Jack Flash continues to lead. Hazel Rig Hawk with a grey is second. Splish Splash and La Paz Midnight are next. As they begin this long sweeping turn. Well, they don't. They take that flight first. <laughs> now they can take a long sweeping turn. And Jumping Jack Flash in the lead. From Hazel Rig Hawker second, Splish Splash third, La Paz Midnight fourth, Eaton Mess is getting closer on the outside of Bell Kennan, and Scorched Earth and Time Capsule. Raphaela Milet after that one. They're pretty tightly bunched now, this lot. Jumping Jack Flash just two lengths clear. 
inside the final mile now and over the 13th they go and over that one Jumping Jack Flash is joined by Hazel Ring Hawker Splish Splash is stalking them in third and is getting ready to join them I think as they take the 14th these three have now pulled four lengths clear of the remainder are headed by Eaton Mess Time Capsule Redwood Edition Scorched Earth trying to get into it as well also World on Fire trying to get going around the outside Raphael and Milet tracking that one but Hazel Ring Hawker led over the 15th from Jumping Jack Flash in second and then Splish Splash then Eaton Mess Scorched Earth is coming through nicely then comes Time Capsule the past midnight is trying to get back into it then as they take this quick double on this bank and Jumping Jack Flash has got back into the lead momentarily but Hazel Rick Hawker is battling on Scorched Earth wide on the track he's going to come through to challenge on the home turn they've only got two more flights to take and Scorched Earth hits the front and scorches the earth and quickly goes a length clear from Hazel Rick Hawker in second Eaton Mess is now running into third Jumping Jack Flash under pressure then comes Time Capsule Redwood Edition and Splish Splash trying to get going then La Paz Midnight Bell Kennan has been pulled up but it's Scorched Earth then down to the second last with a lead of two lengths comes down to it jumps it nicely gets away from it well Eaton Mess jumps into second Hazel Rick Hawker still there in third then Time Capsule and Splish Splash Redwood Edition but they're not getting to this Scorched Earth yet one more flight to take Scorched Earth in the lead Hazel Rick Walker a good jump in second who's beginning to close then comes Eaton Mess and Splish Splash Redwood Edition is beaten it's Hazel Rick Walker who goes into the lead but here comes Time Capsule Hazel Rick Walker and Time Capsule from Scorched Earth who's beaten Hazel Rick Walker Time Capsule Time Capsule trying to get up on the outside Hazel Rick Walker poking his head he's a head bobber it's Hazel Rick Walker that takes it spot Time Capsule is second Scorched Earth Splish Splash Redwood Edition Eaton Mess and all the way back to Sharp Right Hazel Rig Hawker takes it, just stuck its head out on a nod, and in fact was going away again. There's a steward's inquiry, they did all get quite close. It'll be pretty cruel if they knock it out, and they haven't knocked it out. It's Hazel Rig Hawker that takes it for Darren Thompson. Time capsule was second, and Scorchers were third, both for Leon Van Rensburg. Splish Splash for Joshua Sullivan, fourth, and Eaton Mess for Ryan Tamasebi was fifth. <laughs>